Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. In this video, we're going to look at solving logarithmic equations. And first, let's just look go over one strategy slash reminder. If we have a logarithmic equation of the form log base b of x equals y, we can always put it back into exponential form as b to the y equals x. So depending on where the variable is, it might be helpful to be able to get it in exponential form because if it's the argument, we can take it out of the argument by putting it in exponential form. And then the question is, so assuming that x is the uh, variable here, are there any restrictions on the value of x? So are there any restrictions on arguments? Remember, the base has to be a positive number greater than, uh, not equal to 1. Um, so that means, because we're only dealing with positive bases, that x must be positive. So yeah, there are restrictions on x. x must be positive, because if you think about it, what, what is x? x is a power of a number, of a, of a certain base, and the powers of any positive numbers are going to be positive numbers themselves. All right, so we're going to solve these logarithmic equations, and when needed, we're going to approximate to three decimal places. So first, we have log base 3 of x equals 1 half. I think we want to get this in exponential form, so this would be the base to the exponent equals x. So x is by itself, we end up with 3 to the 1 half, 3 to the 1 half, remember that's the equivalent of the square root of 3. So since it does say to approximate, we can either say x is equal to exactly the square root of 3, otherwise it's approximately 1.732. In our next example, we have log base 6 of x minus 2 is equal to negative 1. Let's put this in exponential form, that's 6 to the negative 1 is equal to x minus 2. Well, 6 to the negative 1, that's the reciprocal of 6, that'd be 1 over 6 equals x minus 2. Now we want to get x by itself, so we'll add 2 to both sides. Adding a proper fraction, such as 1 sixth, and a positive integer, such as 2, we can actually just squish them together, because that's actually what a mixed number is. It's a little addition problem. So this becomes 2 and 1 sixth is equal to x. I would leave it like this. I would not put that in my calculator. I would just leave 2 and 1 sixth as my final answer. Okay, next we have log base 2 of x plus 5 is equal to 3. So in exponential form, this would be 2 to the third equals x plus 5. 2 to the third, that's 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 8 equals x plus 5. To get x by itself, we'll subtract 5 from both sides. I see the screen is going a little wonky, as it does sometimes. 8 minus 5 is 3, and we end up with 3 equals x. And we can check our work, because if we plug in 3, this one will be a little bit clearer to see. We get 3 plus 5 is the argument equals 3. That's 8, so this is saying that 2 to the third equals 8, which is exactly true. So I feel pretty confident that 3 is the right answer. Okay, our next example, we have log of 4z is equal to 2. This one's interesting because the base is not given. When the base is not given and it's a logarithm, not the ln, then that means that it's base 10. So this would be 10 squared equals 4z. 10 squared is 100, so 100 equals 4z. To get z by itself, we'll divide both sides by 4, and we get 25 is equal to z. Okay, now we're going to take a look at natural log. Um, so remember, we can combat natural log, or the, the natural log, that's the, the inverse function of the natural base e. I don't think we're going to need to know that, but let's look. Well, maybe we do, because if we're going to get this in exponential form, it's good to know that we're talking about base e. So what we want to remember here is that if we have log of x, this is the same, uh, sorry, ln of x, that's the same thing as log base e of x. Okay, now, we have a problem here because I have two natural logs. I have natural log of x and natural log of 7, but these two logs are being subtracted, so we can use that property. This is actually called, awkwardly enough, the same base division, even though it's subtraction, but that's because it's ultimately what it becomes. It becomes a division statement where we have one log, and it would be x over 7, so the natural log of x over 7 is equal to 0. To get this in exponential form, that would be e to the 0 is equal to x over 7. e to the 0, that's 1. So 1 equals x over 7. Multiply both sides by 7 to get x by itself. And we get 7 is equal to x. It's not so bad. What do we have next? Next, we have the natural log of x plus 1 equals 0. So notice that here... Well, even in the last one it wasn't, but here it's really important that x plus 1 is not in parentheses. So the only argument is x. 
x plus 1 is not the argument that plus 1 is separate. If I wanted plus 1 to be in the argument, I would have had to put the argument in parentheses. That means we need to get the natural log by itself. So we'll subtract 1 from both sides. Now we have the natural log of x is equal to negative 1. And now we can say, okay, we can put this in exponential form. That's e to the negative 1 is equal to x. So that would be, you could say it's exactly 1 over e, or if we want an approximation for 1 over e, 1 divided by e. And uh, in the calculator, if you are going to approximate this, it's probably going to automatically uh, make e a base, and it's going to ask you to put in an exponent there. You would just say e to the first. And when we do that, I get 0 0.368. And this has been a few examples of solving logarithmic equations.